When you find the one for you, what do you do? How do you hold on to them and make sure you do not end up losing them? What steps should you take to ensure they remain and that you live together happily ever after? Finding the right one can be such a difficult task, but keeping a relationship can be even harder than most people think. The fact that you found the right one is no guarantee that your relationship would be a success. A successful relationship is based on so much more than just the rightness or what you feel when you're with the person. Contrary to some school of thought, finding the one and having a successful relationship are two different things entirely. It's not an automatic process and there has to be work, efforts and commitments on both sides. When you find the one for you, it can make a whole lot of difference in your life. It could be the key to unlocking God's goodness and favor over your life. Proverbs 18 verse 22 rightly tells us that whoever finds a wife has found a good thing and obtained favor from the Lord. Being with the right one does not exempt you from facing challenges. It does not mean that it will all be smooth sailing with bells ringing. Even the best of marriages had their rocky period where either or both partners would have wanted to give up. The problem is that we want everything to go smoothly and at the first sign of trouble, we easily back out, taking the easy way out. When you are in a relationship, you should know that being committed to that relationship and that person is very important. Commitment means you stick together, even when it's not convenient. It means you ride out the storms and stand strong to the end. It's only when you're committed that you will reap the rewards later on. Even when it looks difficult now, do not be tempted to give up on that person. No matter the challenges that you face, couples are meant to stand by each other. Look out for each and have each other's back. Anything short of this shows you were not prepared for the relationship in the first place or that you do not deserve that person. Do not be fooled by the lies that is mostly being fed on Hollywood or Bollywood. Having a great relationship goes beyond love at first sight and blending into them is not always automatic. You should understand that you are dealing with an individual, someone with his or her own unique personality and most likely from a different background. Don't expect that you will see eye to eye on every issue. Don't expect that you would agree about everything. Don't expect that things would just flow. It would not. If you want things to flow smoothly, there is a part both of you must play. As much as you can agree on some important issues like your faith, your interests, goals, ambitions and other things, you cannot totally ignore that there will be little skirmishes or even big skirmishes. It could come from within or without. Do you then walk away at times like this? Do you just give up because you feel you cannot go through the stress? No. If you give up, you might never find another to replace that person. The gap they will leave in your life will be so wide that it becomes difficult to fill. Remember, we are talking about the one. This is what many people spend most of their lives searching for without success. Despite their best efforts, they will end up with the wrong person. Now that you have found the right person, does it even make sense that you want to let them go? Some people do not want to go through the stress. They just cannot be bothered and reason within themselves that they will be better off without that person they have found. Some people easily give up on the one they love because they think they will get someone better or they want it easy. It could also be that they are not convinced about the relationship in the first place or they simply lack commitment to that relationship. For whatever reasons anyone might have, the fact remains that once you lose the right one, you might end up leading a miserable life because you will not find another like them. Well, except God has mercy on you. And even that might take some time. With the right one, it becomes easy for you to achieve your purpose in life. The initial problems you face is nothing compared to the reward you get from the relationship later on. There are so many benefits of being with the right one. The one God has ordained for you and these are the things you should consider when you are tempted to give up on that person. 
First, if that is the right one for you, you will have God's approval and experience God's peace and blessing. It will open the door to favor and unlimited greatness. Together, you will be able to achieve much more. As the Bible says, one will chase a thousand and two will chase ten thousand. When you are with the right one, you have an assurance of help when you're down. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verses 9 to 12 says, Two are better than one because they have a good, more satisfying reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him who is alone when he falls and has not another to lift him up. Again, if two lie down together, then they have warmth. But how can one be warm alone? And though a man might prevail against him who is alone, two will withstand him. A threefold cord is not quickly broken. From the above scripture, there are so many benefits you stand to gain when you're with the right. Besides, think about the other person. What would happen to them if you suddenly left or just stopped loving them? How do you think it would affect your lives? These are things one should consider before moving on. Moreover, true love does not give up. It stays despite all odd. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 7 to 8, Love bears up under anything and everything that comes, is ever ready to believe the best of every person. Its hopes are fadeless under all circumstances, and it endures everything without weakening. Love never fails. Love never fades out or becomes obsolete or comes to an end. God never gave up on us despite our shortcomings. Even when we made it difficult for him to love us, he still finds a way around it and is constantly stretching his arm of love towards us. God expects us to love each other the same way. Those challenges are just lessons that will make you stronger and better at the end of the day. These are things that will strengthen your relationship and make that person cherish you forever. Let us take a look at two different people in the scriptures who had occasion to let go but did not. First is Jacob. The moment he met Rachel, he fell in love with her. She was beautiful and industrious, a hard-working woman taking care of her father's sheep. Now, having nothing but willing to sacrifice everything for her sake, he agreed to work for her father for seven years. That is enough to make any man run, but he decided to stay anyway. Imagine his surprise when at the end of seven years he found out that the woman he had been given was not the one he wanted or the one for him. If his love had not been strong, he would have easily given up at this point and allowed Rachel to be given to another person who was interested, but no, he was not giving up on his love and decided to serve for another seven years. As far as he was concerned, he had found the one for him and he was not going to let anyone take her from him. Was it easy for him? Of course not. Were there times where he would have wanted to let go? Maybe. All we know is that, at the end, he got to love of his life. In this case, it was no fault of his, neither was it Rachel's fault. There were external forces fighting against the success of their relationship. But because both of them did not give up on each other, they were able to overcome those challenges. Another person is Joseph, the husband of Mary. Having been espoused to Mary, he must have looked forward to when they would get married and live their lives together. But all of a sudden, he found her pregnant with child and that child was not his. Though he loved her, he was confused about what to do. He had a reputation to keep after all, so he thought of letting her go. In this case, we would say he had given up on her and that he had every right to do so. Knowing his heart, God himself had to send an angel to direct him and clear his doubts. That was all he needed. The next day, he rose up and took Mary as his wife and did not have sexual relations with her until the child Jesus was born. He was ready to make that sacrifice because of the love he had for Mary and the reverence he had for God. No matter what is going on with your partner or relationship right now, as long as you're convinced you've found the one, 
stick to them and never give up. That might be the key to unlocking God's blessings on your life.